Hey guys, MTG Noob here. Uh, gonna keep this hand. Seems pretty strong. Um, <clears throat> we have a bunch of options here. The main one we can have, uh, we're on the draw by the way, is a turn one experiment one or a turn two arbor elf, uh, a turn one arbor elf into a Domri rod on two. This hand does seem a little bit flooded. Um, <clears throat> Although we are playing against either Esper or something along those lines. Um, we're going to play out our forest. It makes sense to try to get the beats on here. But I think the Domri Rod coming down next turn is going to be more important. That could be the wrong line, but the way I'm looking at my hand, it seems as if my hand is not very good. Especially uh, drawing that. So let's not take damage for no reason. Um, I don't like this, but I doubt he's got a negate here. Um, if he's got syncopate for one, God bless him. Because I don't think he does. He probably has Azorius Charm or Think Twice. Uh, come on, creature. Oh yeah, I'll take that one. I will take that one all day, every day. That's a good one. That's a good one. There's your Think Twice. Sure. And we will Domri Rod, most likely. Uh, next turn, I think I'm going to go Experiment 1 Boar at an aggro. Oh, he's, he's Bantaloons. Um, that makes me wonder. That definitely makes me wonder. Uh, let's see what we're doing with this. Sure, I'll take that. Uh, I think he's probably got Dissipate here. Um, our hand is all of the gas. All of the gas. We could go just try to go aggressive here and hell ride for a bunch. Okay, um, I think I'm going to go for the slower plan and make make him answer all these things. Now, the reason this line is potentially terrible is if he's got a um, an answer here, like a Supreme Verdict, he three for ones me. But if he doesn't, all of these things that I'm doing are going to be really great. Um, and even if he does Supreme Verdict me here then we're going to be looking pretty happy with Domri Rod most likely getting to potentially seven outside of a detention sphere. So he took there, which means he's probably just flashing back Think Twice. Um, and unfortunately, if he gets to Supreme Verdict May, Supreme Verdict's May, but I have a Hell Rider into a Thundermaw Hellkite on my next two turns with a Gore Clan Rampager backed up. So I think we're looking pretty good this game. This is exiled. I don't need this. Ooh, I apologize. Small screen. Crazy desktop. Okay. Opponent plays Watery Grave there. Okay, we will look. Peekaboo. Sure. We'll draw that. Um, I think it's better to try to go... Thundermaw Hellkite here, roar with everybody. Uh, excuse me, Hellrider roar with everybody. He might counter this. He might just dissipate it. If he does, we bash with these three. <laughs> okay, so he does dissipate that. Um, but we are going to get in for six here, which is fine. And he's at nine. So outside of a like a thrag tusk here, we're looking pretty good. Okay, so forest. Ah, it's lost. Put that put that poop back. <laughs> um I could also just try to kill him here. He does know about this. Um so, playing around it is not great. Uh, however, I just could try to kill him here. 
in response to things. So we'll just go in. Maybe he thinks I think my land is no bueno. I'm sure he's just going to take this. I can't foresee he uh, he's going to do anything different. Okay, so now we could go for it here. I probably shouldn't have Domri rotted there. What I probably should have done is let him throw something on the top of my graveyard here. Um, this is still going to be 9 unless he's got a Snapcaster Mage or like an Azorius Charm here. Oh, he's got a Fog. Interesting. Okay. I do like that. I do like that. Um... I still think we can go for this here. I think it's fine to have the Gyre Sage. Fogny door it is. It's going to be hard to try to kill him through fogs. Uh, but these things are going to get to go and do. Double strike, trample, hexproof, and haste. Okay. I predict misfortune for my creatures. Um, but this takes two things. We're just going to Domri here. Okay, let's try to kill him. We shall try. Double strike seems good. Claire attackers, Claire blockers. Okay, so he's gonna fog. So unfortunately, there's nothing I could do about this. I wish they were indestructible. That would be quite amazing. He's not gonna be able to kill any of my guys, but he is gonna be able to keep fogging for days. I can hopefully set up a kill here if he sweeps, assuming he doesn't hang up uh, fog, but I can also just do this. Okay, he's thinking twice. He needs answers! He knows about this, so, you know, he's essentially just dead in the water to that. He's just trying to draw fog, I would assume. Fogs for days. Fogs for days. Okay, plays another land. Okay, let's play boar. Tap that incorrectly, but it will grow our boys, so that's always good. And we'll give this boar haste. And we will swing for the fences. Hopefully it's not another snapcaster. They all have trample, so that's always good. Okay, he does have something here. Maybe it's Sphinx's relation. Okay, he's thinking twice. But he did tap his green mana there, which makes me skeptical that he does have anything. Okay. Alright, so how do we board against a fog deck? I honestly could not tell you. Um, I have to assume that Triumph is probably good, as are Planeswalkers. Let me pull this down for you a little bit. Um... So these five probably come in. Is ground seal good? Cards in graveyards can't be the targets or spells of their abilities. He did just show us Snapcaster, so I think maybe we bring these seven in. Um, however, I don't really see much I want to take out. Cards in graveyards can't be the targets or spells of their ability. I definitely think I want this... Um, Garruk seems good against him with all the sweeping things of that nature. Ground Seal doesn't seem necessary, but it does seem like he at least has Snapcasters and wants to buy things back. And Triumph seems good, but now remember, if we're bringing in all these Domri Rods and we're bringing in spells, we're going to be making them 
much much weaker so we do have to cut four cards from here um, I do really like the planeswalkers I don't know how good this is gonna be but he showed us nothing there but if he's continually like sweeping our board I have a feeling this isn't gonna be amazing um, and I could see maybe we go one less Domri one less Garruk I think the ground seals are pretty necessary it's either like four of these or like maybe a 2-2 split I think one of each is fine triumph seems okay but I think we're gonna rock this out here bum, 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 bum. don't really like this hand but I'm not gonna mulligan it I mean these are kinda high drops but this can trips and this uh this is a two drop this is a boar uh this is we we're like one land away from being super duper sweet okay i'm just going to play my rootbound crag since i have nothing else on that turn next turn i'll probably go mountain into boar i would say aurora borealis that's right i said that <laughs> this is the aurora borealis um i could do this Next turn, I'm thinking this is happening. You know what? I think I'm going to do ground seal here. Casey has a snapcaster. It does draw me one deeper. Yes, it's true. It doesn't apply as much pressure, and I wish I would have known I was going to go bore bore there. This is interesting. What is this madness? Oh, crap. That's a Jace. That Jace is bad. Jace is by Adam Kai. All right, so he's going to Jace that the crap out of me. Um, I could hit Jace down for two. I don't know how good that seems. I honestly don't. I mean, we could just do... put Jace down to three, he fogs up to four. But he might just sweep my board. But I think we, we go there. I mean, we can play our own Planeswalkers. Um, try to draw a card here. I don't know if tunnel visioning that Jace is correct, but I think the plan is bore bore. I could also do this and bore, but that doesn't really make sense. He might tick it down. I don't think he does though. Go attack that Jace. Do it. I mean, turn three Jace is pretty hard for us to deal with, honestly. Oh man, I wish I knew I had bore. Or into boar would be really sweet. He might supreme verdict here and tick Jace up. Ooh, auger, yuck. Okay, we'll see if he hits anything. That's a card. That card keeps him in games. So I guess he's banned. He just had f like fogs. So maybe this really is nothing special in this matchup. Okay, so Jace did tick up. You can only hit Jace to two. Um, I think I might Domri here and then fight. My only concern is he probably has um, Azorius Charm. So, like, this blocks, nothing happens to Jace. I think we might have to start getting some more action online like I could just double arbor elf but then if he just annihilates my dudes that's just poor form I think I'm gonna go for this here hopefully he does not have an answer I still think he has an Azorius charm but we're gonna make these guys fight and we will attack Jace you take it Jace you take it take it like a Jace. Okay, we also probably don't want to use Domri Rod here pre-combat because of the fact that he might Azorius Charm. He also might have an Angel here, which definitely kind of stinks. I think we do this and double swing at Jace. Gotta try to kill Jace. I, I think, unfortunately, we're, uh, you know, not looking amazing attacking Jace here. 
They might even like double Azorius Charm. You stack those Abilities. I mean, you just you just fogged for like two and a half years. Okay, something's happening. Oh, clanging mists. Yuck. Yuck, sausages. All right, let's do this first. Thank you. I'll definitely play this. Okay, so he's just in Fog City here. But Sphinx's Revelation is going to do some stuff. Kind of glad I have this. I mean, I'm thinking at this point we probably could have him down to like a bunch. He knows Jace is dead. So, uh, not great. Not great piles for us. These are actually insane piles for him as he gets to sweep here. Um... I think I give him this. I would say he probably takes these two. It, it could be argued that I could Azorius Charm and Supreme Verdict, but the thing is, if I Azorius Charm and Supreme Verdict, what happens is he can sw uh, wipe my board, and then he can kick my teeth in by Azorius Charming me. Is this Terminus? That is fine. Terminus with Fog back up, sure. If so, you are awesome. Okay. Alright, we know we have a forest coming down. Um, unfortunately, I can't smack Jace in the face. That's right, I just rhymed for no reason. Seems like he's playing the black for Drown Yards, which uh, is not going to be good for us. So we'll do this, and we'll see what happens. He ended up taking the Sphinx's Revelation and the Azorius Charm. I wish I had a way to not allow my opponents to do Sphinx's Revelations on me, but that happens. What is this madness? Okay, swings for three. I'm pretty sure he's got fog here. Um, so I'm gonna just probably swing at Jace. Did just game a bunch of life. So we have this. We could swing at Jace. I don't know how good that is. Um, I think I'm gonna do that no matter what. We're just gonna swing at Jace, and if he kills it. Then he kills it. There's no real need to. Oh, poop. Oh, poop. That was terrible. Forgot about the minus one. Alright, that's fine. He just fogs us a bunch. Let's make a wolf. Punt meter rising by Uno. Hmm, put that Domri rod. Um. Plan experiment one. I don't think he counters it. If he does, he does. Then I'll play an Arbor Elf. I am overextending, however, we're just making our board pretty strong. And this guy has been a superstar. He's just like, I am a god, I am god tier. My name is Jace, I am god tier. Alright, so now he's got Drown Yard action going. Um, and I think I actually might just start to try to kick the crap out of him and not bother with Jace. Jace did flip up here. Centaur healer. That's interesting. I think we'd be fighting. He's got an interesting deck. I've never actually played against this deck. So Jace does a bunch of things. Uh, I have to assume he's got to dissipate here. I really don't want to straight up fight and lose Garrick. Um, that would kind of be crap. I can fight, but only hit him for one. I think this is fine. 
we're gonna go Elkite here and I think he's gonna counter this oh wow he didn't he didn't do that okay so either he's got Azorius Charm or he's got Fog I could do this I think I'm gonna lose this here um, this goes at Jace This goes at Chase. This goes at Chase. I don't want to attack with this, um, as I might just lose this, uh, which is upsetting. But if he fogs here or Zuri's charms, then I don't kill Jace, and that's getting kind of to the point where I'm very annoyed. Um, but I think keeping this experiment one back is super important. So we'll see what happens. That Jace is just been a dagger in my side I mean I might have had to lose the experiment one here since he could still sweep and kill it um, but if not if he doesn't have anything here he doesn't have anything here I can't kill Jace it's obvious I think we had to throw away the experiment one if you want to troll at this point and say I'm terrible I totally respect that Okay, so he has the fog there. That's understandable. All right, let's uh, make a beast. I think we want to make these nerds fight. And I think we'd like to pass the turn. Because, I mean, we're not really doing anything, but I think we're doing enough to force him into a crappy spot. Like, he just drew a card there, which means he's trying to draw into answers. Like, he's super under the gun here. Like, okay, he's just shipped Jace, and there you go. There are your two piles. You get two lands or Snapcaster Mage. And Ground Seal says no. He's also probably got another Jace here. I would assume since he decided to ship that one. This does not look like a sweeper. Ooh. Big Jace. Big Jace. Sexy as hell. Okay. So he mills a bunch of cards. And they were all very good. Now I have to assume he's got another fog here <sighs> what did he end up taking that might be crucial uh, excuse me as I pause okay Okay, so he took the two lands. So one of his cards is a land. Um, I'm pretty sure he fogs Jace here. I think we could beat him even if we just go for it here. Like if we try to kill him. We're going to go for it here. We're, we're going to ignore this, Jace. And... I believe the best play is to spread out the damage, put it here. This way we swing the most. We're going to try to hit him here. Gonna ignore Jace for now. Now, if he has fog, he has fog. We know he has Sphinx's revelation. Okay, clinging mists. Okay, that helps him. Oops. I better also play faster, because I don't want to lose to 
clinging mists and things of that nature. Now I might actually start fighting. Um, however, the thing is if I fight, I can eventually do his minus three. Okay, so he's trying to draw cards instead of mill me out. Which means he's probably got things like clinging mists and, and stuff like that still in hand. Um, I would have to assume he's got uh, a few snapcasters in his mitts somehow um, in addition to a giant sphinx's revelation. Terminus here is going to be really annoying. And I think that's what's happening. Terminus probably with the backup. Oh no, this is just something large. Okay, Sphinx for five. I do not believe he dropped a land there. We're on a three turn clock from Jace. I have to assume he drew some form of either A, Clinging Mist, B, another Fog, or C, Azorius Charm, D, a Wrath, or a Terminus. So those things are happening. I might actually have to send at Jace to kill Jace, um, as Jace will kill us. I think we kill him before that, though, as we have... This is 10, 20, 25, 20... We have 29 exactly on board with this as well so we may be able to not have to attack Jace this one more turn um, I assume he found something in that madness uh, we do have a lot of damage with Gore Clan Rampager as well so we'll see what happens okay so he has Detention Sphere here so I assume he's gonna remove my wolves oh my wolf here Silverheart I don't know if that's going to be enough. Okay, and he's got a discard. So this is our turn to kill him. Uh, we will be Domri rotting here, trying to hit maybe another haste creature. Get a Gyre Sage. That's not the worst. Um, let's see. Uh, I just have to do math. 4, 9, 13, 18. I don't think we have exactly 29. Um, we untap. This is 9, 11, 13, 17, 22, 24, 26. We could do 26 damage. That kind of sucks, um, <laughs> unfortunately for us. Not a huge fan of that trying to think. I don't think we want to play uh, this. Uh, we did use Domri Rod already. I can make another beast. Um, I can also fight something and flip Garg. I think we kill Jace here and try to just kind of do pain to him uh, this turn. So... 10, 14, 18. We can do exactly 26, which is 3 short. Um, not sure if I fight with Garruk. I don't think we do this. And I don't know if we do experiment 1 into anything else. Um, I kind of want to keep a haste creature and this in hand. So I think I'm going to go kill Jace, attack him, okay, so all those things will happen. He goes down to 17, um, we'll play experiment one. And we'll play a Geyer Sage doing that. And then I think we're going to be fighting here. And it may be stupid to four six to fight our Arbor Elf since we need the mana from it. Um so maybe I fight a wolf. 
but then all I could do is really put a death touch wolf into play so I, I think we probably need the the mana for the arbor elf but uh, I'm I'm gonna actually fight the arbor elf and and see what happens here I think it's a little bit out of the box and risky but I think we gotta do what we gotta do and I think giving Garrick the overrun ability especially since he milled two four six eight eight creatures I believe into our graveyard I think that's pretty substantial we know he has another Sphinx's Revelation I believe um, he did use two we did C2 um, so that's an option as well the only thing I have to really do here is play this and make sure I regen it assuming he has no terminus which he might have okay uh, I have to say okay to that it's a lot of D spheres hope he hits the Domery Rod I don't think he's going to I think he might hit the Garrick we will see Garrick making death touch wolves classic Classic Garrick. <laughs> I'm a Garrick, guys. I'm pretty classic. <laughs> Sorry, did not expect to play against a Fog match um, in this first match with the deck. I was hoping to actually get some sleep. Okay, my wolves go away. That's understandable. I can't kill them. But it does take 8 power off the board. Which makes me think he does not have a sweeper, though. Okay, we do hit the land there. Um, we're gonna look peekaboo. Let's put that back on top. Um, now we can go in and three, eight, ten. I think we go for it here. Uh, he might f uh, either a fog or b. Um, do things like that. However, it does evolve all of our guys. And evolving all of our guys is pretty important. Okay, so we did that. And now we just try to kill him. I'm a little worried about my clock, to be perfectly honest. As my clock is not great. Um, this kills him without the need to gore clan. Um, if he does put like this on top, then I can Glor Clan. I think he's just got straight up fog though. Flinging mists. Misties. Oh, this looks like a Sphinx. Yeah, he's got to do leave up one. Okay. Sphinx for five. So he goes up to 22. Um, we have nine. 14. 19. Um, I think I'm going to go for this here. I have to assume he was able to draw a fog. That's okay. Okay, and then we're going to have to Garruk, make a wolf, pass. The next turn we could overrun with Garruk. You know, if he wipes my board here, I just regen the experiment ones. We know we have another ground seal coming, which is not great for us. I think he's probably got a terminus here or something of that nature. Okay. I think I'm more worried about losing to time than anything else now. Losing to time, not good. A death touch wolf does nothing. <laughs> Garrick overrun does do some stuff though. Urban evolution, interesting. Interesting deck. Let's see how many creatures we have in here. I don't think we kill him, but we can come close. One, two, three, four, five. 6, 7, 8, 9, 10, 11, 12. Okay, that seems good. Our guys are regenerated. 
We, we've dotted our I's and crossed our T's. Hopefully this is in a third detention sphere. He's far seeking again. Okay, he's got a godless shrine. He's got 16 cards. We have a ga ground seal, so we're going to do that first, I believe. Targeting him. Even though ground seal clearly does not target. Okay. Hmm, I don't know if that was a fast F6 there. I think I gotta go for it. I don't know if it's gotta be this turn to be perfectly honest with you but I think it should be very soon okay I mean we got a repeatable card engine here hitting him for six I'm very close okay I could sack a creature and get another and evolve both of these, hit him for nine. I think we just go for win here. We're getting kind of close to not go for it, but I do kind of not want to lose to another Clinging Mist. Let's see his graveyard quick. Got one Clinging Mist. All right, two Clinging Mists a fog. I think he's got to have it here. I think I make him play the long game. And I believe we'll get a Strymer Root Geist to protect against things of that nature. We could have got the boar here, but the evolve wouldn't have been anything special. Alright, if he doesn't have it, he doesn't have it. Okay, I'm going to feel stupid if he doesn't fog here, but he's not in any real danger. So him not fogging doesn't really mean anything. I don't know how the fog player uh <laughs> is is ahead on time. Okay, so he's strung a root guys there. Skip trample. Uh he does it right. Okay. So that means he's got a sweeper. Which is understandable here. I mean, I think we could have went for it there and, and probably won, uh, but we'll see what happens. Okay, do this, and do this, and get rid of these nerds. Go, go, nerdy rangers. We're so experimental, plus one. Okay, something good. All right, do that. Tense moments. I wonder if he could win. I think he's he's honestly just playing to time himself. There's not much else I could do here. I think next turn I do this and this. Maybe he does a giant card draw spell. I think he at least tries to mill me three cards here. Okay, he mills me three cards. He milled Forest, Gyre, Sage, and Mountain. Uh, and apparently he's going to do something else. A think twice into a think twice. Okay, fair. Okay, so here comes L Giant turn. 
and I've got that classic, classic F6 button for you. If we go to time, I'm not, I don't know if I win this. I don't know if my deck is fast enough, honestly. I think we should have went for it that one turn that I uh, passed up. This is probably Terminus? Okay, Chase. We shall see what happens. Okay, he milled me for 10. Uh, with all that card draw, he had to, I would assume, have drawn something. Maybe even a Sphinx's Revelation. I think we go Domri, Garruk, go nuts. Ooh, Gideon. That's fun. I don't think I'm worried about that. I didn't even, did he use it? Okay. Strange root geist. Evolve my Brosifs. Domri. Double strike. Garruk. That thing. Domri. Plus. Plinoff Boar. <laughs> Um, I guess we'll wait. I don't think we need the Flint Hoof Boar. And yeah, we'll try to kill him for infinite. But hopefully he doesn't have a fog here. Okay, I think he's got a fog. And we're dead. Alright, well, as long as he drown yards us, I think we just gotta play our uh, aggre as aggressive of a game as we can play this turn. Fortunately, we are dead. Okay, just F6. That was cool. Should have done it that turn earlier. Alright, so we'll see. Uh, we just dead here. Okay, so he's got it. I think we can still win by turn four. Um, I think what we have to do is bring in the kitchen sink of fast things. Um, I like pillars, but I don't think they do enough. Um, I don't know if I want the ground seals. I think we still do want the ground seals as flashing back things is problematic. Other than that, let's do this. Should I, I honestly think I should have went for it that one turn earlier um, as the fog that he definitely drew into was was just not great for us. I could go try for a Triumph of Ferocity here as I think drawing cards in this matchup is pretty important. But I think we just got to hope for an aggressive hand. This is this hand is terrible. I don't know if this hand wins in four minutes. Um, I'm gonna try it. I, I could get a more aggressive hand than this. Okay, this is much much better. Okay, both on the mole plan, the mulberry bush. We will take. Kind of glad I went with the mole route. I think in the past I would have just panicked. Okay, <laughs> don't you fog me already, bro. Okay, awesome. Okay, we've got the aggro start we always wanted. Okay, so this is a really very good, very strong start. Like, insanely strong start. Outside of a, an Azorius Charm. See, now this is going to be really kind of shitty for us but not terrible since we're going to get to do that. Okay, um, I still think I just go boar. And I do this, and I do this, and I say hello. Eight damage. And now if he doesn't have anything here, we're good. If he has a supreme verdict, 
uh, we're still good because this becomes a 1-1 one, one, and I believe we'll trigger it. I'm not going to gore clan rampage here. Um, that's a good draw. This puts him to 1. Maybe I'm going to gore clan rampage here. Uh, we can put him to one and just wait. I think we're going to do that. Okay, hopefully that's not a fog. Alright, um, I think we try to kill him here. Do we want a Azorius charm? I think we just go for it and cross fingers here. Oh, he's a fucking master, man. Alright. He's a master. He played that really well. I gotta give him props for that. That was my own stupidity. Well played. Well played. We do have an aggressive draw, so if we don't win, we don't win. I didn't have to go for it there, but I think the next turn... I think that was fine. Maybe he drew the fog. Maybe he didn't. Uh, I think we're going for it again. Unless we draw a haste creature. I uh, don't really want another Arbor Elf, as it doesn't really do anything. I think he thinks twice here. Does he have something else? Does he have another cling miss? I mean, I really can't see going down to... to him not being dead here. I guess there's really no reason... You know what? Let's let him react. See what he wants to do. I would think he would at least think twice here. Terminus is the thing that super blows us out. All right, we're going to go for it again. Now his only out is Fog. No longer Clinging Mist, so if he's got it, he's got it. He might also have Azorius Charm, which is fine. He takes eight. Unfortunately, Azorius Charm is not great for us. Moment of Truth. I hope he doesn't have another Fog. That would suck for us. And if he has, like, Terminus... Oh, God, he's got another Fog. Oh, sweet. He had nothing. Yay! I am raising the roof, as terrible as that is. All right, well, uh, that was a long, drawn-out barn burner, but I hope you enjoyed it. I'm glad we did mull. I think I did make a mistake early on, but hopefully you forgive me for that, and thanks for watching, and please check out the mtgnoob.com.